Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining this session. And um, let's get started because of the only five minutes talk. So, um, so um, for this session, we will you know, go over very quickly uh, one of the observability blind spots on the telco edge nodes and uh, you know, how we uh, solve that problem. Uh, very quick intro, my name is Jin Zhen. I'm a software engineer at uh, Red Hat, and uh, currently I'm focused on the uh, Telco Edge node solution. Um, so when we're working on the Telco Edge solution, and uh, you know, very often running DBDK uh, you know, application is very common, and uh, we notice a uh, telemetry uh, blind spot on the, uh, when we try to monitor the DBDK workload. Um, so, um, so here, uh, for example, uh, this uh, DBDK pause is taking 25 gig traffic in and out, uh, but uh, the, the kernel-based monitoring tool does not give any, anything, not at all, so it has no visibilities uh, to the DBDK traffic. Uh, so that's the, um, the problem. Uh, we we try to uh, address. Um, so we have one extra requirement uh, when we try to solve this problem, and uh, we do not want to instrument uh, the uh, DBDK application or, or change their source code. Um, so our solution uh, is to build a DBDK telemetry agent. Uh, so um, so this agent actually leverage. Uh, the Intel telemetry socket to get uh, the DBDK uh, traffic matrix. And uh, you can follow the link on this page uh, to get more information uh, to see how the Intel telemetry socket works. Um, so, but once we have the agent built out and we're using the agent uh, as a sidecar fashion and uh, run it along with uh, the DBK application. And um, so basically, the premises will point uh, the configuration towards uh, the agent service. And um, the agent will use the premises client API uh, to talk into the premises. And uh, on the back end, uh, it gets the matrix data uh, from, the, uh, from the DBK container. And, um, and uh, you know, from the uh, YAML file, you can see that uh, the agent is running as a sidecar uh, in the same part as the, uh, the DBDK container. So uh, with that, uh, you know, we now have the visibility uh, to the DBDK traffic uh, in our console. Uh, but that's not the end of the story. So we also wanted to connect into uh, open telemetry. Uh, 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 yeah, so uh, there are two ways uh, the agents uh, can connect into uh, you know, OTEL. Uh, so the first way is, uh, is through the premises uh, scripting. Uh, scripting. Um, so from the um, agent perspective, so this works just like how to talk into the premises uh, server. Uh, so, so basically, the, uh, the hotel uh, collector will use uh, the premises uh, as its receiver. And uh, on the collector, uh, you can see that uh, the debug console, we can see the deep digit traffic, uh, you know, metrics are collected. So the second approach um, is, is through the OTLP, and uh, that's a push model. And uh, basically, the agent, while well, using the OTLP API uh, to push the matrix into the collector, and uh, the collector while well, using the OTLP as its receiver. And um, in this picture, in the collector debug console, uh, we can see that uh, the collector actually received the DBDK uh, matrix. So both both approach works for us. And uh, you know, this is how we test uh, the agents. 
So in this diagram, basically, we're using the agent as a sidecar uh, in the same part with the test PMD container. And the traffic gen basically will blast the traffic. Uh, and then we can get metrics from the agent and uh, use that information against the, what we show uh, from the traffic gen, because traffic gen also report how much traffic he's sending and receiving. So uh, we can line the reading. Um, so for more information, uh, please uh, check out our Gateway repository and uh, you know, give us some feedbacks. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, I hope this, uh, this information is useful. Thank you.